Z construction site. We've got an industrial oven going in here. It's a low temp oven. Uh, convection type. Boys are just getting started on the first section of the ceiling. Uh, just got the oven squared. Uh, we ran the gas line several weeks ago. It's about a 350 foot line out to the meter. High pressure. This oven's designed for a fast turnover rate, high airflow, low temperature, about 125 degrees. It's attached to a spray booth, downdraft. Uh, those swing down panels accept a filter. Those oval holes in the walls and the ceiling get light fixtures. There's a man door going to go in that opening, and a set of pneumatic doors are going in on all these openings. These are going to be air powered doors. But downdraft, all the air comes in the ceiling of the booth, and the airflow's got a downward air movement, and then they've got exhaust filters in, the, uh, in those bottom frames there. And that gets connected to an exhaust fan that it ventilates. But uh, this is our third day, and we're progressing on the entire job. Uh, we're hoping to have the oven standing by the end of this week. The uh, auxiliary air movement system is done with uh, uh, Venturi's. These are a pneumatic powered uh, Venturi. This is a three piece uh, Venturi that takes compressed air. It's got a 60 to 1 ratio. So for every one CFM air of air we give this uh, little blower, uh, it makes 60 CFM of air. Uh, th these hoses are what's called a stay put hose. If you bend them, they stay there. So these get mounted in the walls and the intake is there in the back and they discharge the air out there in front. And these are going in the oven uh, for auxiliary air movement. There are four large ones which is a fan type pattern and there are four smaller ones that are kind of a pencil beam that kind of shoot the air a long distance. You shoot air about 20 feet and again the stay put hoses so you can angle them and aim them at whatever you want. And this is what's needed for the new uh, waterborne coatings. So this is getting all installed in the oven, and it's just going to pull the hot air in the back and discharge it and accelerate it uh, through the oven. So that's what turns that into a uh, convection oven. All right, but I'll uh, shoot some more video on this uh, waterborne system as uh, as we progress. Thanks for watching.